Hello everyone, welcome back to the Code Syndicate. In this video, we will see type conversion between the two floating point numbers F32 and F64. As in the previous part, I haven't discussed how floating point numbers are stored in the memory. So I am not going to explain you the behind the scenes of these operations as well. As I have left the topic for a dedicated video which I planned to record in between this series. Now let's briefly look type interchanging between both the floating point numbers. The type conversion of floats is actually not so simple. It requires extra care from the programmer who is writing the code. If your application needs calculated precise numbers, I recommend you to avoid interchanging floats as it can lead to loss of precision. I will explain you with the code. Now let's suppose we are trying to convert from F32 to F64. Let's start with a simple number. Run the code. Look at the output. This is what I am talking about. Now let's check another scenario. Here you can see we are losing the precedence. As you can see, the number is rounded off. Another thing to check dealing with float interchanging is overflow and underflow scenarios. Let's check with the example here this means one and followed by 200 zeros or in mathematical expression it is 1 into 10 to the power 200 as this number is larger than what a f32 can store so it will lead to overflow. If we run the code, we'll see infinite in the output. So you must take care of when you convert from F64 to F32. Have a look at the underflow scenario. Here, this number, which is 1 into 10 to the power minus 50 is smaller than what a F32 can store. So it will lead to underflow and will give the output as 0, 0.0. Let's run the code and see. Here you can see 0 in the console. Basically, what I mean to tell you that always have in your mind that you will have a precision loss while dealing with floating point conversion as well as the other arithmetic operation, which we will see in next video. In next videos, we will discuss all arithmetic operations between integers and floats. That is it for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and God bless you.